So this is the problem which is based on mechanical system. Okay. So here it is. So it, it will be like this. The question will be like this. Write the differential equation governing the mechanical system as shown in the figure. So it is the mechanical system. The three components are what it is? Mass, okay. mass, dashboard and spring. It will be in this order. So you have to say that, that order so that your differential equation you will be like in that particular order. Okay. So first, first you have to consider what are what did you have to consider in order to write the differential equation? Mass part. Next, for the second equation, you have to consider the mass two. Okay. So first, initially, first you want to know what is the input. What is the input here? The input is f of p. Okay. And, and next, next what you want to know? You want to know what is the output. Okay. So what is the first? Next, what is the output here? The output is x of t. So when you are taking Laplace transform, it will become that is Laplace transform of f of t will become Laplace transform it will become f of yes. And likewise, Laplace transform of x of t will become x of yes. Yeah. And now, after that, what you have to do? You have to write the differential equations for for considering the governing the mass m one, governing the mass m one. So you have to write the differential equation governing mass one. Okay. So for mass, what are the considerations here? Here there is no input as f of t. So what are what are the inputs here? They are connected to mass m one. First is dash of b. So you write it in the same order. That is for mass m one first. That is the cos of m one. Initially you have to write that. Okay. So next. Next, what it is, what it is there? Next, we have to write the dashboard. Okay, so before this dashboard is common to both M1 and M2. So you will be writing the dashboard B is X1. You are considering mass one. So it is X1 minus X2. Okay, before that, here also, so this is also considered to be dashboard. Wherever the representation B, it is said to be dashboard. So B1 is also a yeah, dashboard. B1 is connected to which where? Yeah. It is yeah, mass here. So first you write that with the your mass dashboard. Okay. So first that is the force of B1. Okay. So the next one. Next what you will write? The second, which is common, the dashboard, which is common to both M1 and M2. So you will be writing as F yeah, that it is B. Suffix in suffix. Okay. And next, we have to go for the spring. Spring which is your individual to the mass m one is spring k1. So you have to write f of k1. And the next, the spring which is being connected to m1, another spring is k, but it is common to both mass m1 and m2. So you will be writing it as k of x1 minus x2. Okay. So initially, first you have to function that as f of k. Here, what is the output over here? It is x1. For mass 1, the output is x1. So now shall we write the uh, equation? So, how the equation will be? The differential equations for the governing the mass m1. First, for m1, we have to write. m1 is the differential equation for in the previous class we have said m. b square, output is x1. So it is x1. By dp square plus what next? The what the next we have to write out? B1. B1. So B1 how will you be writing it? Capital B B X1 by dp B X1 by dp for B. And the next what how will you be writing out for B1? That's for Sorry, this is for B1, right? B1, dx1 by dp. And next, what you have to write for B. For B, how will you be writing it? Differential of x1 minus x2. x1 minus x2 divided by dp. The next plus this is calculation over here. Okay, plus next you have to write the initial split. That is to mass 1. That is k1 into x1. 
next is a common split that is a into x1 minus x2 since the initial conclusion 0 equal to 0. This is the differential equation covered in the mass m1. Now you have to write the differential equation is covered in the mass m2. Okay. So for that you have to draw this right. That is for m2. What about here? Here for m2 that is a input f of t. So first to draw it. That is an input f of t. Okay. So now what are the force that we need to do? First the force of sorry. M2 first. Yes, yeah, M2. First you have to write integer force. First M1. So M2. First you have to mention it. Then we have to go for dashboard and spin. Okay. Next. Dashboard here uh, integer to mass M2 is B2. B2. So you have to mention that. Yeah. B2. B2. Next. Is that it? Next the dashboard which is common to M2 is B. B. So it is FB. Okay. Next. Next, the spring which is, uh, is there any individual spring connected to M2? No. So, the common spring is? Yeah. K. That's it. Okay. Now, write the differential equation. How will we write it for M2? It is M2 T square. Here, what is our word? Yes. Okay. It is X. So, DX by DB. Sorry, DB square. Yeah. And now, next step. What is the integer dash what it is? B2. B2. So B2, B2. D x2, sorry, dx by db. Since it is x, it will be as x, x only. Okay. So next. Next what it is? B. B D of here I am considering mass m2 alone. So I have to subtract the x2. x2. So it should be written as x, x minus. It is not x2, it is mentioned as x. So you have to write this x minus x1. So x minus x1 by d. Next to we have to answer the spring. That is one spring which is common to both m2 and m1. So we have to write it a with output of m2 x minus output of m1 x1. X minus x1. So we have to equate it into what? Zero. Here, not to zero. Here there is an Input. So here, here, the, here there is no input. So you have to equate it to zero. Okay. Here that is your for p is given as input. So you have to mention that. Okay. And now we have to take a consider this is equation number one and this is equation number two. Okay. So now so now take Laplace and compare both the equations. Let's take Laplace. Take Laplace and sum for equation number 1 as well as 2. So, so for first equation, if you take Laplace and sum, how it will be? So, you know that m d square x by dk square means how will you take it by m s square into x x of x of x x of yes. Okay, and for b1, b1. it is b s. One. B1, sorry. What is for B1? It is B1 S X1 of S. Okay. And then for common B, B S X minus X minus or X1 minus X1 minus X1 of S minus X of S. We are taking Laplace sum sum. So in everywhere you have to mention of S. Okay. So next one. Next the term is screen. Integer spring, that is k x of s. s. Next to the common spring, k into x1 of, of s minus k into x1 of s. K x1 of s into minus x of s. Clear? Clear k which is common to the first spring. So x1 of s. Okay. And then it is k x1 of s minus the second loss output x of s. So it is equal to what? We are taking the addition from f of t plus f of yes. Oh sorry, f of first equation. So it is 0. So since it is first equation, here there is no right hand side that is equal to 0. So here it is also 0. Okay. And now for equation number 2. 
Okay, so let us now check for the moment. What it is? Yeah. It is the amount. Here it is. Yeah. M two. Yes. S square. X of yes. Here it is. X one half of right. So X of us. Here next one. B two. B two is X of us. Right. Next one. B S X of us minus. X one half plus X plus K X of us K into X of us minus X one half plus that is equal to what? The four P is transfer function. We are four plus. So now we have to consider this is equation number three and this is equation number four. Okay. So after that what we have to do means we have to solve this equation number three. Yeah, and uh, what is the inner output there? The inner output is x1 of us. What is the final output? The second mass output is the final output. That is x of us. We have to find what? We have to find. We have to determine the transfer function. So to determine transfer function, what is the formula? Output. What is output here? X of us is the final output. So output divided by what is the input here? F of us. F of t is the input, so it is F of us. You have to take the lattice transform sum of x with respect to, to the ratio of lattice transform sum of F of t. So it is X of us by F of us. This is what you have to find. To find this one, this is available by X of us is available only here, right? Yes. Only in this equation it is extended like this. So from this equation you have to find the inner output. That is, the what is the inner output here? X one of us. By solving this third equation, we find out x1 of us. Okay, just to the left hand side x1 of us, the term value should be there. In the remaining, all the constants and all the mass and dashboard screens should go to the right hand side. So I have to substitute that x1 of us in the fourth equation. Then we will by solving it, we will be getting the transfer function x of us by x of us. Okay, so now I am going to solve the third uh, equation number 3. So, how first we have to solve that with the M1 x square x1 of us will be like this plus B1 x1 of us. This is for initially multiply these two inside. Okay, so what happens? It will become Bs x1 of us minus Bs x of us plus here the term that is K into x1 of yes. The next step plus k multiplied by also k to the both inside. So it will become k x one of us minus k x of us is equal to what zero. So now let me uh, let me have all the x one term towards the left hand side and bring all the x of us term towards the right hand side. Okay. So first of all, here the uh, first we let um, all x one term I am going to write it nearby. Okay. So that is m1 f square x1 of us on x1 of us term. Next what it is? b1 x1 of us. Next plus b into x into x1 of us. Now I am not going to write this one since it is x of us. So next x1 of us term is k. k x1 of us. The next x1 of term is here. Plus k. Now whether it is k or k, the first one is k1, right? Yes. K1. Yes. It is k1 x1 of us, the next is k x1 of us. Okay. Now the two term remains. One is x of us term, and that is this two x of us term, I am going to write it here. That is minus bs x of us minus k. X of us is equal to what? Zero. Okay. Now, shall I take common outside X1 of us for the first four term? So, I am going to take common outside X1 of us. What is remains inside? M1 S square plus B1 plus B plus K. B S. This is the term I have taken x1 of us in common outside. 
no, one more is there. One more k is there, right? K1 plus one more k is there. This is the first the first 5m we have taken the x1 of us is common answer. The remaining, so let us minus common over here, minus of, what will be there inside? Vs plus k, I am taking x of us common in this unit. So I have written it as minus, I have taken common outside, so it is minus of Vs. In this minus, so I have taken common answer, so it is plus k. Okay. So I have taken that x of us common answer over there. So now it is going to be equal to what? Zero. Clear? So now, next what we are going to do is we have to, what I want to find out from the first third, uh, third equation, x1 of us, right? Because uh, finding out the x1 of us, I am going to substitute in the fourth equation, right? And so now, what I am going to do? I am going to keep the, I am going to find out the term x1 of us. So x1 of the term alone, I am going to keep it with the left hand side. The rest of the thing, I am going to take it to the right hand side. So what is the x1 of the, uh, x1 of this term here? Just x1 of us into, what is that? m1 is square plus in this both term, shall I take s common, s common. So it will become v1 plus v into s. Again, what is the next term? k1 plus k. So now this minus of vs plus k into x of which shall I take it to right hand side? So if you take it right hand side, what will become? Minus will become plus. So it will be equal to Vs plus K into X of us. Okay, so I have to find what? This X1 of us. So I am keeping the X1 of us term alone towards the left hand side. So if I bring this entire term over to the right hand side, it will become to the denominator. So X1 of us will be is what? Vs plus K into X of us divided by m1 is square plus b1 plus b into s plus k1 plus k. I am making it here single term k1 plus k. Okay, and now this is my x1 of this. Like this is, I have found something as that is 5. Okay, now I am going to substitute this 5 in this equation where I get x1 of this. For that purpose, I have to solve this, right? So, now I am going to solve the equation number 4. How I, what I, from, from the equation, what I am going to get? x of x us by x of us. So, first, initially, just as like that, just multiply that. Here, I uh, bring all the x1 of us to, you know, one side, then x of us to the other side. Like that, what becomes from the equation? It is m2 x square x of us plus v2 s into x of us, right? Now, we are going to multiply this vs over what's inside. So, it will be the plus vs x of us minus vs x1 of us plus, I am going to multiply this k also. So what will what happens? K x of us minus k x1 of us that is equal to what? F of us. Likewise, bring all the x1 to the nearest term. Okay. So what happens? It will be like m2 x square x of us or all the x, x of us term first. Let me say that is b2 s x of us plus b s x of us one more x of us is k that is plus k x of yes and what are the term of x1 of us this minus b s x1 of us minus k x1 of us that is equal to b f of us so in the first this four term shall I take x of us common answer x of s is what? What will be there inside? m2 s square plus 
B2S plus BS plus K over here minus and taking object common as X1 of S. So it will be minus of okay here minus of X1 of S into what will be there inside? BS. BS minus I have taken object. So it will become plus K equal to what? F of S. Now I know the value for this X1 of S. I have taken it as 5. So I am going to substitute the fifth over. Take this as a given number 6 for your convenience. Okay. 5 in where? 6. Okay. So what will happen? X of S into M2S square plus B2S plus BS plus K minus. What is our X1 of S term? It is over here. Okay. That is. BS plus K into X of S divided by M1 square plus B1 plus B into S plus K1 plus K. K1 plus K. Into what is the time over here? This is also we have to write. Right? X1 plus K into it is BS plus K. Clear? So now, so now, can you guess here this also x of s term, here this also x of term. So if I take a common object, there are two terms for it. This is first term and this is second term. In the both the two terms, x of s is common. Right? So, what do you do there inside? M2 s square plus b2s plus bs plus bs plus k right in center there is a minus here bs plus k into bs plus k will become bs plus k the whole square so it will be the whole square okay so now bs plus k So, 
you just uh, take uh, take that. You if you go the through the denominator, it is f of s by x of s. If I break, if I make this term inverse means or reciprocal means, I will be achieving it, right? So x of s by f of s is what the reciprocal of this term. So it will be like m one s square s square plus b one plus b s plus k1 plus k divided by the entire term that is m2 s square plus b2 plus b2 s plus k into m1 s square plus b1 plus b2 s plus k1 plus k what is the number of minus bs plus k3 whole square Okay, this is related to common to both the types. Okay, this is our transfer function. This is what we have to find out. This is our transfer function. So in the question first, in the what you what it has been asked, it is the differential equation. So which is what you have to write the answer. You have to take and write the answer. Answer the matter. The differential equation governing the mass in one and in two. First equation and second equation. Okay, after writing that. Transfer function is equal to this. Is the answer for that particular problem. Okay, that's all.